Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today you're going to learn about the future of real estate on a global scale. My name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate agent based in Toronto. And today I have a special guest with me, Micah Valdez. He's the president of EXP Global. And today we're going to be discussing EXP Global growth. And to be honest, guys, the fact that I have Michael sitting here with me is a an honor in itself. Thank you for taking time out of your day to answer some of these questions. It is a true privilege to have you on our channel. And before we get started with some of the questions, can you give everyone a little bit of an introduction about you? I know your wealth of, you know, your experience prior to coming to EXP is quite impressive. So let's let's discuss that first. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. It is my honor to be here with you. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for everything that you have been doing to really change the lives of so many people and the growth that you have had within your own organization within EXP has been so impressive. So thank you for the opportunity to spend a little bit of time with you. Um, so as you said, my name is Michael Valdez. I am the president of EXP Global. I joined EXP in May of 2020. Uh, prior to that, I was a senior vice president at Realogy. And I, um, Real so Realogy is a holding company for those that don't know that own six other brands, which is Sotheby's International Realty, Coldwell Banker, Century 21, ERA, Better Homes and Garden, and Corcoran. And so I was in charge of the uh, global growth for all six brands, which represented about 113 countries uh, at the time of my leaving and roughly about 300,000 agents. And so when I first met Glenn Sanford and Jason Guessing, our founder and CEO um, respectively, it was um, really an amazing opportunity for me when I understood what EXP actually was, when the agent becomes the brand, when the agent becomes the brand on a global scale, I thought, oh my God, this is really the true disruptor in our industry. And it has proven to be the case. And so when I joined back in May of 2020, we were in the height of the pandemic and we opened five very significant countries in literally a matter of three months without ever getting on a plane. And that was really the true testament to what our model truly was. And then last year we opened an additional nine countries. And then this year we're off to the races already and we've already opened in the Dominican Republic. We're opening in Greece this uh, next month. And then we'll be open in New Zealand as well before the end of the quarter. We'll be introducing our next three countries for Q2 very, very shortly. That's amazing. I know it just two weeks ago, we launched Dominican Republic, which is amazing. Yeah. So, you know, EXP's growth has been quite exponential the past, you know, couple of years. It's truly, even in Canada, every time I talk to real estate agents, now there's a curiosity around what EXP is. And I wanted to ask you, so how does this international growth, how does it impact people like myself who's living in Toronto and not so much in the mainstream of the US where it kind of really got the explosion? So think about what is going on in Toronto and in Canada. We are over 4,000 agents in Canada. It is extraordinary to see the growth that we've had there across all the provinces. When we start looking at what it means for someone like you sitting in Toronto, think about how global the Toronto area is. Think about the fact that, you know what, somebody had told me this once when, uh, when we were doing global and it was a, uh, something that they used to tell their, um, their sellers. And it was in one of the remote offices of the UK when I was with another brand. And the agent said to the seller, your buyer could come from around the corner or around the world. Do you care which? They said, of course not then why wouldn't you come and sort of give me your listing? So when you are now able to say that with much more conviction, and I'll tell you why, because EXP is the largest independent real estate brokerage company in the world. So by agent count and transactions, when you're talking to your consumer and you're saying to them, I can actually get your property around 20 countries around the world 
to 75,000 of my colleagues around the globe. No one can say that, period. Because even if somebody has more of an agent count than us, it's fragmented. It is a franchise model. If something goes wrong in India, in, in Mexico, in Brazil, I get the phone call, right? And so there is a much more cohesive message here for someone. So when you start looking at it as an agent point of view, you are now a global brand because you can add to your own organization within EXP in all of now about to be 20 countries, 19 at the moment. So you can build your own organization. You as a consumer, as a transactional agent, can come in and say something to a seller that no one else can. 100%. And here, you know, with all of our, our federal policy, with, you know, the new immigration policy, with the amount of people that are coming into the country and into the city here, there's a huge global impact that we have about the, not just people coming to buy and purchase properties here, but selling and moving elsewhere. And to be, you know, to give you a little bit of a story, Michael, my first ever transaction with EXP was with a gentleman who was actually retiring here in, a, in a, the suburbs of Toronto, and he was moving back to his homeland in Portugal. And I was able to put in touch with him, an agent in Portugal. And I wouldn't have had that access anywhere else. If, if he asked me, I would have said, oh, that's great. You know, good luck with that. Yeah. But in this case, yeah. I said, you know what? I actually know somebody there. Why don't you, why did I put you in touch with somebody? And I was able to go into Facebook workplace, find somebody, had a conversation and completely in a different language that they were able to communicate. How amazing. How is powerful that? is that? How powerful is oh. that? And now you start thinking about it when everyone, you know, everything is in vogue right now is the metaverse. We've been doing it for the last decade. Everyone just caught up to us, right? Sorry. And so when you start thinking about it, when you start thinking about EXP world, as our virtual environment in which we all operate in, when you start sort of thinking about it in that manner and you start sort of thinking there is an EXP Portugal that operates all in Portuguese, there is an EXP India that operates in all languages within the Indian culture, there is an EXP Mexico that operates in Spanish, et cetera, et cetera. So everywhere that we have an office, we are in language. And so when you start thinking about community, when you start thinking about a global community, we are the true embodiment of that. Anyone at any time can come into EXP world and at that point can jump into any of our 20 countries. And that's going to be this business operated in that language. So the fact that you just did a referral to someone in Portugal without speaking Portuguese is the strength of what we are creating here. Yeah, and the infrastructure that is allowing us to have this kind of relationship and culture, right? This community right. without limitation of country lines, province and you know states is, is so it. powerful. I don't think people truly understand it until you become immersed in it. And now that I look at it, I'm just like, whoa, I would have never been able to part of, even think about even selling real estate on another level. But in another, you know, thinking about even just partnering with real estate agents, I have more real estate agents that are outside of the greater Toronto area that I work with. Yes. I don't look at a single paperwork. I have zero liability again around it, but I have this amazing yeah. relationship with them. I talk to them on a daily basis. That's pretty, that's pretty powerful. And, you know, and, and we, we were just talking off camera about a friend that we have in common. And it's like when you start thinking about what Mike has done with this organization, you know, he onboarded a team of 20 agents in South Africa. Yeah. I mean, it's sort of like, I don't even know if Mike's been to South Africa. And it's sort of like, think about like that. Think about how you now, because you are been, been a part of EXP, can actually eloquently describe the advantages of this for someone. You are not limited geographically to what you can do to build your business, not just your real estate business, but your organization within EXP and those that you share the EXP story with. You know, I always sort of say that EXP is a gift and all you are doing is sharing that gift with somebody. Exactly. And Michael, I don't know, Angela, you are on a secret. I don't know if it's exactly this group that you're talking about, that 20 person team that you brought, that Michael brought from South Africa, that I was actually was one of my partners and my agents that helped with that. Oh, it's, that. Isn't that amazing that, and we had a little bit, we wanted more information. We want a little bit of help. Now I was able to, you know, 
tap into my upline, who is Mike and Connor, who was able to yes. reach out to you. And we were able to resolve the situation and, yeah. and maintain this relationship and grow this relationship. At a, I've never been to South Africa, but I was able to do this. From here in Toronto. You have to go to South Africa. It's a beautiful country. I, will. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, now I have a reason to go there. Now you have a reason to go indeed. It's a yes, gorgeous I've seen country. partners there, which is amazing. And so I wanted to ask you, so you we talked about a little bit of glimpse. So how is how are exp agents so when they come into our company how can they take advantage of this global opportunity what is it looking like for people right now you know what it is it is that sense of when somebody needs to sort of shift their own thinking mm -hmm. somebody needs to really sort of shift of you're not a local agent in toronto or fill in the blank you're not a local agent what you're able to do is to help somebody around the world Coming into an EXP platform, you automatically become a global brand. We're not the brand, the agent is. So if the agent has a, an, an eponymously named team or brokerage or whatever that is, that leads. We're just a platform, right? So it could be the fact that that person has their, their own logo for their own team or it's an independent brokerage company, you don't sacrifice anything. What you do is you see now the opportunity to go from being local to global. And that is a powerful statement. And again, when you start thinking about everything that we do as an independent company, whenever we go into a new country, we are not a franchise. So we are one company. We go in and we create a local uh, company. We, we create our local legal structure our banking, our finance, everything times 19, because we're in 19 countries now. And we do this now. It's amazing. It's like we, we, we open a corporation in every country in which we're in. And then we, look, we hire our local talent. We find the leader in that country. We hire our local talent. And then we have all the support there. So what we do is that there's not one EXP model around the world. That's why we've been so successful. We bring in the leader. We study the market. And then we do a variation of what that our model is in order to be as successful as we can be in that particular local market. So we are a local player with a global platform. That's what the agent becomes. That's amazing. And the, what I love about the most is that you're not just going in there and giving, you know, support on a local level, but you're changing the economy of that country because oh if you can look Absolutely. Right? Oh, just thinking about the future of a real estate ad, you are changing the way people are doing real estate, the way people are working, the way people's lives are changing. This is truly is a life changing company. And I can even and I can say that because I'm part of it and it's changing my life. And I would have never thought that EXP and my relationship to just real estate in general is journey would be the way it is if it isn't for what the infrastructure that EXP was able to provide. Think about this when you start sort of thinking about this is one of our leaders in, in Mexico, when we were on, a, uh, on an interview together, it was a clubhouse interview, and he sort of said, you know, Michael, my country needed this. Mm -hmm. And that, the, the strength of that statement, I said, tell me what that means. And he said, well, imagine, if you're in a, this, this model equals the playing field for everybody. So if somebody is in a rural area, say of Mexico, they can still participate the same way that any of their colleagues in Mexico City or, or Cancun or Cabo or any of the larger areas can participate in. Some place where somebody would not look at it as an economically viable place to put up a bricks and mortar office, which is what all of our competitors do. The fact that we're cloud-based, the fact that your office is in your computer levels the playing field. And being able to have that family in a less populous area of a country like Mexico be able to not only be able to support themselves and their family, but their community and the people around them. And when you start thinking about that, it does change the face of an economy of a country. And that is a very bold statement. But we, in, in a little bit over a year, we're almost at 900 agents. So this is a story that people understood. In India, we're at 1,300 plus agents in just over a year. Somebody that came over, it was a team of 300 agents, a team, 
of 300 agents that came in in India. And the, um, the leader of that team wanted to speak with me before he signed. And it was from, he came over from one of our competitors. And he said to me, Michael, do you know why I want to join? And I said, please tell me, Dinesh. And he said, because I've studied every model. I've been in this business for three decades. And he says, the EXP model was made for humanity. And it floored me because he so eloquently put in that one sentence, what we have been doing, and it's so hard to explain to people. And it's the idea that when you change someone's life, you're changing humanity. Absolutely. That's so powerful. And the, yeah. the part that makes it so much more impactful is that it's, you get to see the impact. You know, I yes. used to work in government for 10 plus years and I, I worked and worked. I spent time away from my family. I never got to see my work changing people's lives. I've never got to see the impact. Now I get to work with real estate agents on a one-on-one -on -one basis. I get to work with buyers and sellers and I get, I'm people, I'm changing lives and I get to see it in front of my eyes. It's, it's, amazing. it's unbelievable. It's amazing. It's humbling. It's humbling. When you hear these stories and you hear what, you know, that that somebody was um, having a, a, a life threatening um, um, disease and they needed an operation and they didn't have the money and revenue share paid for it Absolutely. and saved their life, quite literally. Yeah. You can't put that on a balance sheet. No. And even just real estate in general people leave yeah. their other jobs they change career to come to real estate to find wealth and nobody really does and they get into this hamster wheel and they keep working for for as long as they can imagine and we have an opportunity there's willability there's healthcare. what truly right. is is a place where you can find true employment and and actual lifestyle and time freedom and money freedom you got it that doesn't exist anywhere else and lastly i wanted to get into asking you about you know okay. what is the philosophy that you incorporate when you are going into a country and expanding into other countries um, because we are growing so quickly and we have this amazing impact that we have on such a local level and that we're growing changing the way people are working in these countries so what philosophy are you following so you know we are building a global brand Right. So I spent 15 years at another organization where I was covering 113 countries. So the idea of being able to look at an EXP global as a global platform, there's about 20 checkpoints that I look at, but parts of things are population of a country, the GDP of a country, where the competition is. We don't want to be the first one in a country. We don't want to need to be the pioneer. We want to make sure that people will understand our model. We're a very different model in where we are coming in. We want to understand that the countries that we pick next will be building on the countries we've already opened. Mm -hmm. So we are building a global brand that makes sense. So think of it as you would a shopping center where you want your anchor tenants, right? So things like large countries like India, Mexico, Brazil, those were the first ones that came in to anchor different places on the globe. And then as we start filling in, we start filling in other things that make cohesive sense. We are also looking at what the organic interest is within our EXP community. The fact that we have 75,000 agents around the world, they're the best ambassadors for this brand. And so we do have a site that's called expglobal.partners. That is a consumer facing site as well. It's not just EXP agents. And it, uh, first of all, it shows everywhere where we are. It has an interactive map and it shows all of the different models around the world in native language and in English. And then it also allows somebody to nominate a new country for consideration. And my team and I meet every single week and we start talking about these and we put them in different categories. And we start sort of starting to start building on where there's more interest than, than other places and start building where the next set of countries may be. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun in starting to look at this. And it really is a privilege and an honor to roll this out to every new country because it's a new opportunity for a new group of people around the world to be able to have their lives changed. 
Thank you so much, Michael, for you know spending time sharing all this information. What a pleasure it is to have you be a part of our company and changing, you know, and working you. with people like myself. Even just giving me the opportunity to share this information so yep. that with people on our platform is just it's just amazing. And yep. for anybody that's going to be watching this content, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about EXP Global Growth, make sure to put it in the comment section below. I'll make sure to get it and subscribe to our channel so you get more content like this. And Michael, honestly, congratulations to you. Congratulations to the company for having found someone like you who is so forward thinking and have such an amazing strong mindset that you're you have honestly michael people talk about you all the time in our meetings and i want you to know you're you're a great role model you're an inspiration to people in our company and we're so happy to have someone like you kind of leading the way and paving the path and creating opportunities for us in this company so we can have we're so excited to have someone like you kind of doing this for us on a ground level work so uh, i appreciate you and thank you Thank you. And thank you for what you're doing and the leadership that you're doing and having this channel. This is, you know, another platform where you get the message out. So, you know, we can't do this without people like you and all of your colleagues. So thank you for your leadership and thank you for this opportunity today. Thank you so much, Michael. I hope to connect with you another time. Have a good day. Bye. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye.